Hey, it's your guy Ty Rao back with the interviews. In today's video, we're going to briefly analyze the main tactical themes that played a key role in Arsenal's first half dominance against PSV. So in today's video, first we're going to focus on Arsenal's shape versus PSV shape. Then we'll shift to their buildup and highlight who played a key role in them bypassing PSV's front six. And lastly, we'll focus on their wide area threat on both sides. So when we break it all down and we do look at the board, we have Arsenal in a 4-3-3 and PSV starting the game in a 4-2-3-1. Out of possession, PSV dropped off into two banks of four and then you'd see Arsenal swap between a 4-1-5 and a 3-2-5 depending on whether Zinchenko shifted into that midfield zone to help out Rice in central areas. Out in the wider areas Trissard and Saka were hugging the touchline with both capable of dropping deeper to pull out the fullback and receive the ball with their back to goals to help Arsenal retain possession. But first what we'll look at is how Arsenal were able to bypass PSV's front six. If you look at how PSV are shaped you would expect the to be okay in that midfield zone as they have the double pivot tracking the movement of Havertz and Udegaard and then their number 10 tracking the movement of Rice with De Jong being able to alternate between Gabriel and Saliba to apply pressure. Gabriel Jesus could drop deeper into the midfield zone off the center backs to help overload that central area and provide more options for the Arsenal center backs but one of the key factors to Arsenal bypassing PSV's front six was the positioning of Udegaard who dropped deeper in towards his own third to receive the ball and he was attempting to pull Veerman out of position. Veerman often didn't track his movement and at times when Veerman followed Udegaard in towards Arsenal's third, Udegaard would drop into spaces near his own edge of the 18 yard area to receive the ball and the central midfielder wouldn't track him into those positions. From there Udegaard would have enough time and space on the ball ahead of PSV's front six to slide the ball out across Bakayoko or Lang to the fullback so they could progress the play. On the rare occasion if Havertz dropped off deep towards his own third as well. Odegaard could pick up the ball from his goalkeeper or the center backs and then play the ball towards Havertz. And there were times where Odegaard simply dropped off in towards that zone to create space for his teammates. Whether it be Saliba now having the freedom to carry the ball towards the halfway line beyond De Jong and dragging away a marker towards him to play the ball back to Odegaard. And from there, Odegaard could play the ball to White who could shift it out towards Rice as Odegaard's positioning and Saliba pushing forward allowed Rice space to receive the ball to then play it out to Zinchenko or Udegaard's movement would simply pull away Veerman and by dragging away Veerman that would create a passing lane for Jesus to drop deeper to drag out a center back and from there he could combine with Udegaard who could push forward and carry the ball into PSV's third and then slide the ball out to Trossard. Ultimately even with Zinchenko shifting in towards a central area PSV could use their front two to block off the passing lanes in towards Rice and Zinchenko and then still be able to go to v2 with Havertz and Odegaard but there were situations where simply Veerman was pulled out of position by Odegaard's movement and then from there Odegaard could pull away the number 10 and slide the ball out to Gabriel and with the number 10 now pulled out of position now Gabriel could play the ball instantly in towards Zinchenko who could progress Arsenal's play due to Odegaard dragging away markers. So in many areas Odegaard played a key role in helping Arsenal bypass that PSV front six whether it be him dropping deeper to evade that first phase of the press or when PSV dropped off into two banks of four and Rice had enough space ahead of the front two to get on the ball. From there, Rice was able to play the ball around Lang, who was often caught narrow into the path of White. And that was simply due to the fact that Havertz was pulling away a midfielder. And then you had Odegaard shifting to the left of Veerman in that pocket of space between Veerman and Lang and forcing Lang to shift across to get close to Odegaard. What would also be a factor is if Jesus dropped deeper as well and the center backs didn't stick with him, then that would leave a lane for White to receive the ball. Let's say Jesus stayed a bit higher, then Odegaard could serve as a reliable option as Rice often played passes beyond the midfield bank in towards Odegaard in that pocket of space between Veerman and Lang. And then from there, Odegaard could turn, slide the ball out towards Saka to place him in 1v1s against Dest. If PSV simply wanted to press with De Jong, then the issue that they would have if Zinchenko moved in towards that central area was that he would drag away the number 10 and then that would leave Rice Rice free to receive the ball because Odegaard would be occupying Veerman. And the only other way for PSV to overcome that aspect is to have Veerman pushing towards Rice in that situation and then have the center back stepping towards Odegaard to apply pressure. In many cases, the positioning of Odegaard combined with Rice and Zinchenko having freedom by overloading that central area did help Arsenal bypass that front six on a consistent basis. But then Arsenal also did a very good job in the wider areas and that was simply down 
down to the lack of help from Lang and Bakayoko. Because when Sokka was able to go 1v1 against Dest, if Lang wasn't tracking back, then that would force Veerman to shift across. And from there, if Udergaard is being occupied, he would drag away Veerman, but then that would create a 3v2 overload if White pushed forward. And then from there, one of Sokka or Udergaard could place White in a position where he could create in the final third from the half spaces. On the rare occasions where Lang did track back and it was 3v3, now you had Veerman who could stick tight to Udergaard. And at the very least, even if Udergaard got the better of him, he was forcing Udergaard sideways rather than playing passes towards the final third or in behind. Because there was the threat of Sokka and Trissard breaking in behind, and we witnessed Arsenal attempt to play those passes beyond the fullbacks, and ultimately their third goal did stem from a long ball over the top where Trissard was able to break beyond the fullback, and from there he was able to pick out Jesus at the back post who was able to kill off the game. But we witnessed two incidents where you had Sokka in a 1v2 against one of the deeper midfielders and Dest, and he was able to pull the ball back into the path of Udergaard who wasn't closed down by the center back who was unwilling to step forward and from there that's how Udergaard was able to get the shot on goal that resulted in the rebound that Saka converted to put Arsenal ahead and then later on you witnessed Trissard in a 1v2 with Havertz within close proximity Havertz dragged the midfielder towards him which created an outlet for Trissard to play the ball between both PSV players across Veerman who wasn't tight on Udergaard and from there it placed Udergaard in a legitimate goal scoring position where he forced the keeper into a save. So in these situations where Arsenal were able to get into the 1v2s, PSV did a very poor job of closing out the passing lane for Saka to square the ball towards his teammates. And even in the build up to the second goal, although it was in transition, it was Saka in a 1v2 and he was able to square the ball to Trissard who hit a lovely first time low effort beyond the keeper. So as you can see, a combination of Arsenal utilizing Udegaard to help bypass PSV's front six, identifying an area of weakness in the wide areas, a threat in behind the fullbacks, and ruthless finishing helped Mikel Arteta's men wrap up this game within the opening 45 minutes.